Hey guys, welcome back. I'm uh, going to do a quick video today on the Hunter Masks and Ivory Keys. Um, with the Ivory Keys, there apparently is a bit of an issue where you can only get seven, but you get them from the same place you get the masks. Uh, if you only end up with seven by the end, join a friend's lobby and then go after, the, after a hunter that you've already done with the friend. Make sure you're in their lobby and that will get you the eighth Ivory Key. Um, a lot of these can only be done at night as well, so if you're doing the objectives and it's not working out, then it's because it's in the day, and it's only available at night. Anyway, let's move on. So for this one, um, it is located just here, near the theatre. Uh, you need these little targets up here, oh, I'm aiming at the wall. Uh, you need to shoot them, top left to bottom right. Right, uh, you've got a sniper here, do you want to do that? And then when it will spawn in down here. We've got Aaron here to help us. Where is he, where is he, where is he? There he is, I see him. Just need him to stand up. Oh, I've got no ammo for it, it's shit. He's still behind that little kiosk. Oh, he's healed up, he's healed up. Sweet, nice one. Right, and that's the first one. Right, the next one is just here. Uh, down by Foggy Bottom. You need to come into here, get into this pool, and do some jumping jacks. Do you want to go ahead and do some jumping jacks? Do it. <laughs> He's going to do the jumping jacks. He's going to. Hey, there they are. No, this one spawns two, though, so watch yourself once you've done it. Ah, oh, they're both up there. Ah, oh, he's taken my um, drone. We got him. Oh, nice. Sweet. Right, so that's uh, those two done. So, guys, for this next one, you need to come to this location on the map. If you drop down this one here, um, it will bring you into a little room that looks like this. Just follow the tunnel and you'll come out into a room that looks like this. So now you go and turn on the computer. There it is. Which brings up a location there on the map. So we'll go to there and then I'll show you what you do when you've got to be there. So once you've activated the computer, you come to here. It has to be night time for this one. You can activate the computer in the day and just give that light bulb there a little shoot. You got him? There it is. There are a fair few you have to do at night. And again! Nice. Sweet, we got him. Right. Let's go again. So for this next one, um, you just come here, just below Capitol Hill, and you'll be at this monument here. So what you need to do is shoot the light, get out of the water though, before you do this, otherwise it doesn't work, and then salute. And there he is. Shit, I was not expecting him to pop up that close. Oh, nice. <laughs> no, wow. <laughs> that one was quite good. Well, that is the Wraith Mask. <laughs> Shit. So for this one, you come just to the left of the stronghold there, inside this building here. And the doorway there with the mirrors. You go in here, and you activate this, wherever it is, the computer. There you go, interact with that. Yeah, computer on this side, and then if you go through those double doors there, and activate... 
the phone that's in there. And then bam, here comes the next one. Hey, we got him. So, here's the next one guys. This one is quite tricky. There's three, potentially four hunters at this location. Um, it is here. Just below this control point. Just there. Um, so, you got the Christmas tree there. And then you come over to this building here. So, I don't know how well this is going to go with three of them. But let's try it. So you pull that lever, and you go back down to the Christmas tree, and you've just got to run around the tree a few times. Once you've run around it a few times, the hunters will spawn in. I don't know how many times exactly, but... Oh! That... Right, so you do that, and then... It's probably a smart move to run. Quite far, if you can. Uh, this one can only be done at night as well. Yes, one down. run back into the safe house quick. Ha! So that's a good way to do it if you're playing solo. Because they can't actually get you. Yes, that's two down. Right, there's one more. Let's go grab that last one. So, he seems to have buggered off somewhere. I'm not too sure where, but all three of them spawn in that location. And then, once you've dealt with those three, if you come over to this location here, where this propaganda broadcast is, just outside this wall, he should spawn just here. Which, yeah, there he is. He's having a little play on his own, he's not bothered. Got him. There we go. And that. So, for these last two, these are a bit of an arsehole. Uh, you need to control the Washington Monument control point. And if you come into the basement, into the loot room, which is just behind you, and behind this wooden coffin thingy -maggy, interact with this. Now this one can only be done at night as well. And then the TV will show you three places you need to go. And you go to these places, there's like like a grave. Um, stand in front of the grave and salute. But this one can only be done at night. So uh, this is the grave here. Bish bash bosh. Just next to the control point. So you want to stand near it and then salute it. I don't know if I've done that right, so I'm going to do it again just to be safe. Yes, so you get the little bit there where, like where the hunt has come. That means you've done it right. So we'll get on with the next one. So the next one is just here. Um, just where I'm stood. There's the monument. If you get the static, like I said, you've done it right. Um, it took me a few attempts on a couple. Right, let's go get the final one. We are at the next one now. Um, just here. Same again. Stand in front of it. Oh no, I don't want to do that. And give it a salute. Oh, I didn't get any static. So we'll try that again. There we go. So, 
uh, with the once you finish the grapes, come back to the Washington Monument and interact with the button again. And bosh, there we go. We have the orange screen or the orange circle. Uh, once you've done it, that's it. You only have to do that bit once. So we'll go find the hunters now. This bit's quite tricky. Uh, let's get on with it. So the next one got him. His head was just poking out and he was sat on this building just here. So once you've got him, it unlocks another one. Spectre mask, nice. Now the only downside of the next one is he could be anywhere. He spawns in randomly. Uh, it's always in this area, but you have to kill that guy first. So once you've killed him, uh, if you just run around checking these little buildings like this here, uh, your HUD will go all fuzzy. Um, I'm going to go to the first location, see if he's there. You need to come to this location here. And then, right now he's not there for me, which is really irritating. I don't know what's going on there. He spawns just up there. He will sit just on that bit there. And um, you need to do it with your sharpshooter, something like that. Or a sniper, just make sure you've got enough power because if you hit him, he will run off. So, another location he will spawn is this rooftop here. So, you've got a building here, a building here, two buildings there, and then just over there by the crane. They're normally the places that he will spawn. Um, once, but you have to do the first one to get him. So, make sure you kill one hunter before you go looking for the others. But they spawn on these buildings pretty much all the time. Um, yeah, it's quite stressful. It took me a while to get the video. But thanks for watching, guys. And uh, we'll be back, more, back with some more Division 2 soon. Peace.